the majority of teams on the world scene. So mm. this is going to be a, a task for Liquid for sure. It has also destroyed themselves. Let's let's put that into True. perspective as well. They are known as one of the best defensive teams ever for a reason, but Defo has got off to a flying start. The classic wall to get themselves an afterplant, and now the rotation has to come in here from Liquid. And honestly, uh, the, the fallback's already there. We haven't seen the changes on Icebox that are rumored just yet, so this retake's going to be rough. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one to get back into. Time obviously being an issue. They still have a wall <laughs> online, though. They've lost Nevera as they attempt to walk on in and look at these side angles available playing around the back of yellow. I mean, this is looking like a clean round. Nats was still stuck on the site. Now the wall goes down, but it's going to be broken in just a moment. Oh. Halfway defused already. <laughs> has actually knifed Link to close that round out. Rifles could be the difference maker. Quite a bit of early information for both teams. And actually, they're going straight under the tube. An early trade is decent, but it's definitely worked out better in this case for Liquid. Yeah, Gambit known for their slow plays, but they want to use the, the faster pace to take advantage of these weaker weapons. Redgar even going for the flank, but he'll be caught as well. But low HP, Defo didn't stand a chance. That is two to one. Team Liquid answering back convincingly. Well, wow, they're just not being allowed any space whatsoever. It was a good attempt by Liquid to use their Viper utility to stop that plant, even just cause the damage, but nothing found. Now it's sort of suicide to just run in here. They're going to try the wall play. We saw this in the first round unsuccessfully. Oh, oh but this time, finding a lot more for their trouble. Goes down to just the one player, Shados. He's going to break the wall and take the kill. Running the clock all the way down and guaranteeing that round for Gambit, even after his demise. Besides, Pop, it will be completely useless. And they know where Link is, forcing him out of the corner with the fragment. A wonderful little cross, but the trades come back in thick and fast. As said, Scream's still here. And now... In a four versus two situation, this looks rough for Gambit. Uh, not the easiest. Left. Even getting out of here is going to be tough for Redguard. There's so many players up close, and it just turns into a fight. Scrambling to try and grab these kills. Shados will be left alone. They're pushing him one at a time. The opportunity is given. But Team Liquid close it out in the end. They'd have to essentially run at them. And with no information to play with, like they have no idea where any of these players are. There's even a res online for Link, but he's not going to get to use it. Taking the fight up against Chronicle and losing it. Now we come down to just Nevera inside his ultimate. <laughs> and yeah, that Viper's bit hasn't quite reached, but hold on, he's going to reposition. Getting right ahead of the ult. But Chronicle luckily is there to convert it. There's on the back. Look at this, the entire defense is just clumped together, waiting for someone to peek through. Oh and Defo almost made a fateful mistake. They're still committing. They're still moving forward. Gambit are not deterred by hearing numbers. They just see free kills, free ult orbs, perhaps. But Link is still putting up a fight, taking at least the one down. The res will be attempted, but that's not great. The orb already going to tick away. Bunch of screams health and will be eliminated in the end, putting it down to the 1v2. Link still holding on. A wall in his possession, and the plan still has to be secured for Gambit. But it doesn't matter in the end with the headshot delivered. It is 6-3. to three. All right, guys, that would be insane. No, they are. They're still just going straight into the A-site once again. They have an advantage. They're going to try and get themselves to plant play players holding, watching to try and catch them as they swing. After plant position once again on this A site. Nice shot from Yumpy, but instant trades from Gambit. They're looking so good in responsive plays, making sure that no advantage can ever be found for Team Liquid. And now, once again, they are just being slaughtered as they try and push back into this site. Defo brought back from the grave and he takes three players with him, seven to three. Getting aggressive on the Reina, but they're spotting it. Even though Liquid haven't been going for this, Gambit are still being conscious and they've got an off watching for Link re-aggressing. I mean, Team Liquid, everything that they try, it seems like Gambit are on their team speak. Yeah, and now again, we're going to get into these after plants once again. Shot that line up. Might kill Great off job. Nats, but I don't think it was timed quite well enough. So, no, he's going to be able to survive in this corner and has teammates alongside him. Flanks also being watched. This duel is everything. If Chronicle wins it, the round is already over. And he hasn't missed a beat. He hasn't missed a shot this entire game, I don't think. Now, we talked about the original iteration of the 9-3 curse. I heard uh, Ryan bringing it up earlier on the desk. Looks like we might have a second opportunity. We'll, we'll run it back, so to speak. Nine to three as we close things out. There is a lot of pressure uh, coming into this pistol round, though. On this attack, they'll be going to the A site. Three players from Gambit here already, and mainly it's Defo. And he gets blinded up. A good Leer that avoids that aggression, really finding anything. Somehow, Defo is still alive in the cover from Shados. 
That's from the opening oh. duel. Another <laughs> landed. A quick shot from Defo, but quickly returned by Link, who's now left to fall back and try to heal himself up. His teammates falling around him, and again, we end up with the advantage in favor of the defense. Oh, oh, you lunatic! He's just gone up, rushing in towards the spawn. Uh oh, are they ready no. for this? Oh, oh, it actually worked out. I, I, obviously, the knife definitely didn't help, and now they know where Link is on the site, trying to just take the fights at this point. Getting a plant seems now an impossible unless. Seconds left. Obviously, Link doesn't know that. Having healed himself up earlier, no armor, no shields to play with. And Gambit are going to approach this together. No steps are heard. Link has the info, but he's been spotted. That's caught him. Oh, man. I mean, they know he's they know exactly where he is. He's hardly playing up close on the wall, is he? No, there he is up above. They're ready for this fight now. This gets so much more difficult for Link. He comes so close, man. Look at the HP on Nets. Five seconds for them to try and get anything done. They've gone back to this B site, but the fact is Gambit haven't moved. There are still three players ready and waiting on this cross, and they're trying to get a little bit more aggressive because they want to try and find some kills, kill off some players before they actually get this plant down. Yumpy will at least get one, but Link's been dropped, and that means they haven't managed the plant. Soulcast getting a second kill. They're making this one costly at least, but now the time running out, and they could just not kill Scream. Oh, oh my god, of course he gets that frag. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they uh, are a little bit late for dinner. That drone has spotted a player up close, and Chronicle almost gets away with a kill. But obviously, the Spectre not quite dealing the damage that you'd want at that range. So that plan's going to be secured, and Team Liquid should have an easy round. Yeah, and they're going to put themselves in a great position as well. Getting a lot of kills in the last brings a lot of ultimates very close to being online, and even getting very close to a res for the next round if they desire it. Shados, he just wants to make this as costly as possible. And hey, Yumpy going down a rope. He almost had Scream as well. At least one. Look who's up close. Okay, Scream got seen as well. Snakebite's going to be late. So, oh, Snakebite's actually bounced off the edge of the wall. So never mind. But Redgar still able to catch Link on the fade back. Scream went down too. The advantage now sitting comfortably in favor of Gambit. This was looking good for Liquid. But it took a nosedive real quick. Yeah, they switched up the wall just to try and deny the snake bite, and then they end up getting caught by bullets instead. Not quite a worthwhile trade off. Decent flash will leave one blind, and the kills coming back from Soulcast. It leaves just one standing, but he has torn them apart. Four kills in this round. That Potential when it comes to officials. Not even close. Uh, the guy's unbelievable. That is Ooh. an aggressive push out of Defo with no shields. He gets away with it. No kill, but Chronicle's doing a damn good job of holding down oh B. My God. Still on this choke point around yellow. His utility covering the walkthrough on B. And with that double kill spike drop, look at the repositioning. But that has actually allowed Solkus to sneak all the way through. And with that knife going out, he knows there's a player right up above him. Oh. It's the KO, but he'll be peek from the side still. Getting away with one. Shados will get the jump on him, though. And leave Yumpy's operator as the final player. We hyped up this agent pick in this man's hands. But I think a 1v4 is a little too much to expect from him. Yeah, especially with the position of the spike. Like, it, it really couldn't be much worse. We've got two players around the angle. Players have spotted him in mid as well. And he now no longer has enough bullets to actually kill the remaining players on the team. So he'll have to either find a gun or switch up to his pistol. And he's not even going to be given the chance. Nats with the repeat. Will and one recovery. And they are done and dusted on this. A very aggressive push out of screen. He's up on top trying to play around that wall. Hunter's Fury will be committed. And it's available on the other side. Redgar trying to grab some tests. This is ludicrous as the Viper's Pit comes out of Nevera. The site will be secured, but screen goes down to even the numbers. Uh, it looks like a, a strong possibility of an afterplant. There is a res available for Link, but getting to scream, I think it's going to be easier said than done. He was perched up around that wall. Unless it's actually been sectioned off. If he, if it's below, he might be able to get something done here. Yumpy also waiting, but they'll be held back. And it's mainly going to come down to this Viper's Pit. Can it be clear? Devil goes above, though. And that's Soulcast gone. Thankfully, though, Link's still within the pit. Alongside Navira, and they are holding this one down. Incredible movement from Link there. He's going to get the flank in to close out this round. He so quickly maneuvers himself from taking that fight on the side off and now I start to get even more worried I mean gambit three chances to close it out opening duel going in favor of yumpy and that is the operator gone 
I mean, uh, look for for Gambit. This is another round that they can kind of throw away. They they don't have to be too upset if it doesn't end up going in their favor. But Liquid is starting to build up the momentum, and that's where I think a lot of their power uh -oh. is coming from. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, the drone has caught him up close. <laughs> oh, the the cursed drone. Uh, there's a reason you're always going to see Sova played on this map, and that, that is basically it. Denies any of that space being taken. Same after plant again for Liquid and a Chronicle that there's a very good argument for him just running away with this operator. Like maybe he wants to try and get a kill towards his ult, but chances of victory slim to none. They, they haven't been able to do it with rifles. I don't know why they think they can do it with a solo operator, but hey, he's already managed to get one kill. I, I guess he's tempted to go for it. They really don't have a lot of credits on the Gambit side. This is strange to see them committing to it. Shados has an opportunity converted. No. Oh, the shot from Chronicle on the money. Sulkus not actually really having that much time on his side. The spray is close. He's out of ammo no. halfway already. Shados gets it. It's done. Gambit have got the map 13 and 9. Only a few Depending seconds left game. in it. A few more bullets in the magazine, and Team Liquid win that round and keep on fighting. That Sky's not a duelist anymore. We're not expecting to see the, the same level uh, out of Scream on this agent, but the fact that he's picking it, the fact that like, oh, I'm excited. Whatever he has got uh, to offer us here, first for us. And as you can see here, the plants already come down. Gambit with a typical B take. They pop down their wall. They go over to the site. Now they've got a nice, comfortable post plant. And the, the problem here really, though, is that Team Liquid still have a lot of utility when they come back in. In particular, those flashes can do a lot for getting them through the Viper walls. Yeah, they've set up for the retake, a, a full retake strategy, and there's still a flank coming in as well that could just catch that late luck player off guard. It did. Yumpy's already managed to take down his counterpart of Chronicle, and they're winning every single fight on the way back into this site. It's left all onto one man, and this time Nats is not going to be the hero. Solid stuff from Liquid. Information has been garnered by Soulcast. Now, I, I have enjoyed watching his KO left. play an awful lot. So that, it, it's always going to be worth highlighting Link as well, switching up agents for the oh, umpteenth time because it just seems to be his role within this team. Chronicle, though, has managed to find another. Navira's lurk position might be able to delay the plant a little bit or at least make it more awkward. Never mind, though. He's been forced out of the corner by Nat and killed off by Chronicle, who now has three kills. Make it four. Yeah, he didn't even have armor going into this round. And somehow it's only young he left god unbelievable <laughs> this is not a round that you should be walking away with even near this amount of damage in and i don't even necessarily want to put it down to to chronicle having that headhunter weapon because i think with his sheriff in hand he does a very similar job it's just that he'll have the headhunter here in love ace and yeah, taking space here, though, might actually be a little bit difficult. They've managed to smoke left. off the angle, and well, Defo's just going to go running. Scream with the instant headshot. No surprises there, but there's a lot of targets still to find, and he's going to be able to get a second, at least making this one close, and Link just goes swinging through, trying to maybe waste some time, allow for the remainder to rotate. And there's only 15 seconds left on the clock. If they can catch this player, there's a very good opportunity down to the one versus one, and it's just going to be an open plant. Redgar just sticking it all the way through, but Soulcast will eventually swing and close it out. Liquid. I guess it's just the time. Again, we're down to the 30 second mark. So now knowing that they're still wrapped into mid, they haven't really got control elsewhere. They can start to gamble their rotations at least a little bit more. Link low, but he's still going to catch another. At least keeping this one a little bit more even. And they're probably not going to expect Navira to be here because why would he be here? The pit's still up. You think he'd just be sat within it waiting for you to push. Instead, he's taken that space elsewhere. The flash for Shados at least grants him some space, but the time is gone. And now they just need to survive. Yep, carrying these weapons through becomes the primary objective. But as you can see, Team Liquid want to disrupt that as well. Sulk is charging. Yeah, who, who was saying that it's not going to be played as a duelist? That looked like a duelist to me. This is so aggressive. Fight in from Gambit. They found the entries they needed, though. Trading things out effectively. And Yumpy's probably just questioning, like, how, how is everyone already dead? The round's only been going for about 30 seconds, but my whole team is gone.
Oh, this angle is ratty from Chronicle. The door left open and oh, it's a freebie. This man and there's a rotation coming in already from Team Liquid. They've read this play entirely. The shock dart snake bite combo that eliminates Shados on the way through the choke point. Nats though is able to at least recover something. The Viper's Pit going down to try and retrieve that spike, but a tough task ahead of them. Defo will try to thin out the numbers of the defenders as they cross over to the site, but Nats has to hold strong. And they are rushing him down, running it to try and take him out of this round, already dealt with. And as you can see, Defo don't have to be as aggressive as their old composition relied on. Instead, though, it's going to be the other side that's being very aggressive. Yumpy this time will be able to catch one. And in fact, him and Scream have locked it down. The remaining two unable to get anywhere near this site. And the trades are in thick and fast from Liquid. It's left all on to Redgar with an operator. Um... 10 seconds left. Okay, Viper's in a great spot. Yeah, Navir has got to have him. <gasps> oh, if he oh. hit that shot, he could have won the round. As you said, so it's something you have to then consider that, yeah, you're, you're going to lose a lot of rounds that otherwise you would close out. Oh, dear. And Nats has just completely destroyed them, walked into a site, taken a double, the rest of the team joining him, and it's proving to be very easy indeed. Chronicles mid flank come from? has completely ruined them. <laughs> this is going to be tough for Navera. Oh, no. he's revealed. He's under his fury. He's pushed. Oh, Still gets killed. Fair play. <laughs> All right. I don't. I. I don't know. Uh, he shouldn't have gotten away with that. Well played. And maybe a chance for Team Liquid if they can pick up another kill. In fact, with this plant going down, I see shock darts. Nats is already half HP. There's some opportunities here. They've, they've done very well at killing off that flank and fire almost every single time. Nats though with the hold is turn things back into a 3v3 scenario this battle means quite a lot actually killing off leaves just the flank remaining they may not know yet but with that flash coming through from scream they're gonna know that both players are currently coming in from behind they've tried to clear out that back corner successful one to one but the trade from shados is there once again leaving it on to scream but he always seems to come through with those headshots I'm feeling a lot more confident about their next half but gambit have gone for a very Whoa. aggressive strategy and you can see that pace oh was my. not expected well yeah th this is i guess the problem of not having a, such a dedicated mid hold is that sometimes a team can just run straight up mid mm -hmm. most teams won't but gambit will yeah gambit normally wouldn't as well <laughs> being that slow <laughs> defaulty team good shot when that's falling and redgar is being dropped okay three versus three team liquid have just been granted a miracle but the numbers won't stay even for long. And look at this aggression out of Shados. Okay, maybe Sky is a duelist. I might just take that all back. Seven to five at the <laughs> half time. Gambit's attack. Yeah, I think that's really where the questions start to arise. And Team Liquid are going to have a quick attack here in the pistol. In terms of splitting up through mid, they're already coming into the B site from both angles. And the TP back over leaves just Viper, who's now being kind of pincered in. Players pushing from behind. Shados gets blinded. Inside of mid, though, you've still got quite a lot of resistance by Nazis. Covering off that cross, making sure they can't get over, and the fights from spawn go to Chronicle with the headhunter in hand. Sure, there's a, a rifle on board in the form of a guardian for Redgar, which might be a nasty surprise. In fact, it is an easy kill onto Yumpy there, and now they're going to try and clear some of these closer angles, but the information's been given over to the other side. Redgar is enough of a problem by himself, and just wait. Oh! Is that a uh -oh. shock dart going straight down? I think a little bit of Damage dealt. Redgar still alive on back site, dodging all kinds of utility. And Chronicle picks up one of the end. Look, and it's not something that's going to save around all by itself and be the turning point. Shados is picking up the opening here, still powerless, unable to pop any of these flashes, and so there was no escape. Either just keep taking the wall bangs or try and get out of there. And oh, only on the way back, the rest of the team are cleaning up these duels. Leaving Solkas to do it all. They don't know where he is, and he'll get one, but not ready for Nats to be there, too. Yeah, we'll see the, the drone taken out, but he had to use one of his operator shots to do it, and now they're going to try and burst into this B site. Good opening. Shane Austin, a little bit of trouble. So many players coming around that corner. He does well to get the triple before falling. Still, that operator, the tour de force in play. Looking for a victim on the site, but you can see Gambit are conscious of it. Nobody wants to swing out wide and give those fights away. I say nobody. Chronicle does because he's got an off of his own. 
The ultimate trading out, Yumpy, and leaving Scream in a bad situation. I think he might have just eaten that snake bite. Well, they also have a ton of credits on Gamma. Oh, oh it's so dirty. He doesn't get the kill, but that, there was no way they were expecting him to just swing back out through that. That was pure panic on the other side. Defo wants to go back for more. He is not done fighting. There's already been a trade back and forth with one kill coming in and Scream able to make it a little bit better, but they still haven't cleared Shadows from the back line. And oh, that was the most awkward fight I think I've ever seen on their attack. And that that's with c -Ned. So it, like, let's put it this way. It is hard playing this side of the map. Shados still lurking within. Did did he peek out of that or did he just, just headshot him straight through the screen? There's been trades back. Hunter's Fury trying to clear out those back lines. And while I was about to say looking like an afterplant, but every couple of seconds, there's a swing from Gambit that takes off another scout. Now with this, I mean, Team Liquid again, having some promise in the early round, but things start to switch in the other direction. See if they can bring it back. Solkus and Link, shock darts to play with for Link, but it's really the duels you've got to be winning, and Defo comes in quickly. Yeah. Those ultimates that we spoke about starting out this map, Chronicle and Defo close it out with them. It's 13 to 8 and 2 to 0 as Gambit started out strong here in the MEA Challengers. Defenders